Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So we have just have the reveals for today. It was mostly AOS but we did have some stuff for 40k and for the Horus Heresy. So let's jump in and um, let's take a look at what got shown off. Now hopefully you all enjoy Karen S. Valrak. If you want to go and watch the live stream, um, I dressed up as a sister of battle because that was the member goal we hit and that's what everyone chose for me to do. So um, yep. You enjoyed that. I well, that's why everyone was saying they loved it. Um, so let's just start and um, let's look at the Horus Heresy stuff because I think for me, um, this is um, one of the most coolest things that happened on the stream. So these are the brand new uh, uh, Night Lord Terminators. It says among the new units of the book are the Contour Con Contacata or Con. Uh, uh, Con Tekka Terminators, let's call them that. The elite butchers and killers, um, even by murderous standards of the Night Lords, we caught a glimpse of these models um, a while back, and now you can see them in all their midnight clad glory. So you've seen these now as a full squad. And I've got to say, I think they look great. I think they look fantastic. They look very Night Lordish with all the skin, chains, you know, uh, body parts. Is that uh, Terminator that's actually stepping on one? Um, the actual weapons themselves is hooks. Uh, you know, chain blades everywhere, uh, Volkite weapons, uh, Flamer, I think they've got on the other hand as well. Um, so yeah, very, very cool, very, very Night Lord-ish, and um, hopefully Night Lord players would um, like these. I know Umbra, who's one of my uh, members, is a huge Night Lord fan, and he really, really likes these. So um, I think they've uh, done a fantastic job with these models. And the big reveal for the Horus Heresy, apart from these models, was uh, Book 9, the Horus Heresy. It's called Crusade now, uh, and this is going on pre-order on September the 4th. Now, of course, um, there's been a lot of talk about the next Horus Heresy book when it's coming, and uh, we don't know when it is still coming, but we just know that the pre-order is September the 4th. Are they going to write a release at the following week, two weeks' time? We have no idea. We just know that it's going on pre-order September the 4th, so hopefully... By the end of September, you should have it in your hands. That's what I'm going to say anyway. And some of the 40k stuff that got revealed, um, there's a couple of books we'll get to in a second, but the main thing was the new model, which is the Hex Mark Destroyer. This was the sneaky boy that was hid behind the monolith that time, and everyone was like, what is it? Is it like a flayer kind of thing? But no, it's called a Hex Mark Destroyer. It's basically a Necron with a bunch of guns, and he hates all bio life. He just wants to go around and kill everything that lives and um, they it comes from the uh, the actual destroyer family um i think it's a cool model i like it he's got how many guns one two three four five five guns he's got and um he's got five eyes no sorry he's got six eyes no seven eyes is that an eye in the middle i'm not too sure but he's got all the guns and all the eyes and um yeah it's, it's a cool little model um necron players i'd like to get your thoughts about this do you like it do you hate it i know there's been um, a little bit debate about the new um destroyer models with the legs and everything like that so um does does this do it for you, or is it is it something that you'll pass upon? Um, put it down below in the comment section, and we can have a nice little talk about it down there. Now, the other stuff for 40k was a couple of books. The first one I'm going to talk about is this new Crusade book. It's called Beyond the Veil. So this is taking place in with all the ne Necron shenanigans now in the Prior Nexus. Um, someone on my stream brought it up, sorry, I forgot the name who it was now, who said all the war zones that are actually mentioned um, in the 9th edition rulebook um, are probably going to be these. And I, I absolutely agree with that comment. I think that every um, uh, uh, war zone that is in the 9th edition, we're going to get a book uh, dedicated to it, like a mission pack for, for the Crusade. So this one's Prime Nexus. There was one for Armageddon, which is interesting. So I wonder if we'll get some more information on Armageddon with hopefully Angron and everything like that. So um, yeah, what do you think of these? Um, uh, I think this is, of course, aimed at players like me who were into the Crusade. Um, am I going to buy this one? Probably not, because I, I, I'll, I'll hold my hands up. I really don't give a toss about the Prime Nexus at this moment in time. If they do other war zones like Armageddon, those are the ones I would be tempted to buy. And the second book is called Chapter Approved Tactical Deployment. This is a mission pack. So it says this contains 18 new match play missions, which allows you to bring your own theme terrain and use it to create a balanced battlefield alongside your opponents for close fought games. This is perfect for any Warhammer 40,000 player who wants to add new elements to their battles. It also makes it much easier for event organizers and clubs to run tournaments. No need to paint 500 ruins to populate the tables, run a tactical deployment event, provide the tables and a roof, and the participants bring the rest. Now, um, I'm a bit torn on this one because um, it seems like they're just putting so many books out already for 9th edition. And one of the problems with 8th edition was the book bloat. 
that's why I used to call it the book bloat. It's like we had just so many bloody books, and they've already started now with these books. Um, you know, you had the books that they released. What was it? Chapter approved and you know, the other chapter approved book and everything. So you've got that now. You've got this one. Um, if you want the Crusade stuff, you've got that one. You've got the Ninth Edition rule book, of course. All the codexes are coming out. And then if you play, you know, Blood Angels and Dark Angels, you got to have supplements for them as well. So the book blow is looking again very, very real with Ninth Edition, and um, I, I really, really don't want it to be as massive as it was in 8th edition because it was just it was just too much stuff to bloody carry. And on the subject of terrain, uh, they did announce some new terrain. So we get this new box called uh, Vertigus. Hopefully, again, I'm pronouncing that right. So it says, Battlefield in a box expands on the scenery found in the Warmer 40,000 Command Edition. So all the pipes and stuff like that. Um, inside, you'll find um, uh, two double-sided uh, card gaming boards. I'm not a fan of the card gaming boards. I'll, I'll put that right out now. I think they should be doing battle mats. Battle mats are like amazing i know gw have done battle mats but they should be doing better battle mats um uh, and you get ruins and a new uh, auto uh, coracle transmitter and you can see the transmitter now on the screen in the background and that was it for warmer 40,000 in the game um let's move on to the necromunda stuff and that's basically it then once we finish with necromunda stuff that's everything set um in the 40k um, time period, let's say. And one of the models that was announced from Necromunda is the Orlocks Arm Masters and Wreckers, and you can see some of the models in the background now. I actually really, really like these models. I think they're really, really cool. And um, we were saying on stream that these could be some like awesome kit bashes for like um, the Salva uh, Chem Dogs for the Imperial Guard, the Armageddon Orc Hunters or something, I think someone said as well. So um, models look really, really cool. I have no problem with them at all. Um, I'm not really into Necromunda at the moment. I haven't really found the right gang for me. But these, again, these are pretty cool again necromunda players is this something that is doing it for you do you like it do you hate it um what do you think of the necromunda reveals again do you hate it do you love it leave it below and we'll have a little talk down there as we always do all right chaperoneos that is me done for another video thank you for coming thank you for watching as always and uh, my thoughts and feedback on this event is um i wasn't really blown away by anything but then again i am a space marine fanboy so i didn't really see that much space marine stuff so you know my hype uh, was never really there but i'm sure if you're a necron player if you're a necromunda player um horace heresy player and um, there's some pretty cool stuff in there like um the the, the horace heresy stuff really was a standout for me with the night lord seeing some of those new terminator models and stuff so um they could you know be integrated into 40k and stuff like that if you if you know want to make some you know cool badass looking guys and stuff you know nothing stopping you for bringing the actual rule of cool um, but yeah, I'd like to get your thoughts and feedback on the actual uh, event itself. Um, did you like it? Did you hate it? If you hated it, what did you hate about it? If you loved it, what did you love about it? Post it all down below. And as always, we'll have a little talk down there. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching once again. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.